Hi everybody, it's Sandy here from Scrapbooks Blessings Club and I am excited because today I have special news plus I am showing you a very easy card tutorial and I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while so first off my special news is I am a part of the new Scrapping for Less design team. Um, you can find the new store and the blog if you go over to www.scrappingforless.com. Of course, they are on Facebook, and I will have the links below, so you can go ahead and click that way, too. So everything I've used for this card, I have purchased through Scrapping for Less, which is my go-to store. It's an online store. I couldn't tell you the last time I've been to Michael's. Because if you've seen my other video about Scrapping for Less, which I can put the link down below, um, I can get everything I want there, discounted prices, and it's even stuff that's not in the store. I can go ahead and ask to see if she can get me, and I'm excited about that. So, let me show you the card that we're going to do. This is the zigzag pop-out card that has all the rage and I'm sure you have seen around I think the reason why this is such a taken off so much is just by taking your regular zigzag card and adding this bottom piece there's so much versatility that you can do with this card there's so much embellishment that you can add which is great so when you open it up of course it is the pop out but I added a piece in the middle to kind of make it a pop up card too so almost, almost like a two for one now, everything I used, like I said, for this card, I went ahead and I have gotten from uh, Scrapping for Less, including the squirrel stamp and the mailbox stamp and the foam. This is um, snow, dimensional snow. <laughs> and I will go ahead and I will list the products below, too, so you can check them out over at the store. Let's get started. Okay, so here is my eight and a half by eleven. It's just the regular size um, cardstock, like like you do for your card base. Okay. Now what I need to do is I'm going to make my one card out of this. So when you do your regular a2 cards what you do is you fold this in half okay so or cut this in half and then you'll have two cards what I'm going to do when I go ahead and cut this in half I'm actually going to add an inch so instead of cutting in half so eight and a half by eleven so instead of cutting a five and a half like you normally do I'm going to go ahead and raise it an inch and I'm going to cut it at six and a half because I want that one little extra inch here that's going to be my tab. Okay, so I don't need this piece. I can put this piece off. So now this is my card base. Now putting my trimmer off to the side just for a second. When you do your regular A2 card, what you do is you just go ahead and you fold it in half. Okay, line it up. Of course, if you have a scoreboard and all that, you can use that too. But like I said, I'm just going to do this very quick and easy. So there's my crease. Now to make your regular zigzag fold card, what you do is you take your top flap and you fold it back to the spine there. So you fold that in half going backwards. And then this here this fold here is your regular A or A2 Z card plus an extra inch. So some people call it a zigzag fold because of the way it looks. Some people call it a Z fold. I've heard it called it S fold. It doesn't really matter. That's just the way it looks. Okay. Now grabbing my trimmer back, I'm going to go ahead and I want to cut this one inch off the bottom so that's that extra inch that we cut there we go so here is my A2 card that you're used to seeing 
flip over the front, there is a zigzag card. And then here is that extra piece that was on the bottom. Now to make this really easy, and like I said, I didn't do a lot of scoring or anything. I just did a couple folds. What I'm gonna do is the two steps. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this bottom paper over to the other side. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it and rotate it, just like that. That's it, okay? Now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna glue it onto my card. So grabbing a little bit of adhesive, what I'm going to do is glue just the front flap here, just that half on the front, and then this half here, I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do a little bit of glue on that end, okay? Now for me, it's easier for me to go like this, that way I can get a straight line. So I'm just going to tape down right there, that first section of glue. Straighten it out. Oh, and see, I just did a little bit. Let me make it a little bit straighter. There we go. Okay, so there's that one section of glue and there's that other section of glue. Now when I fold it, voila, see? And I can even go ahead and do, make sure it's creased good. And there is your zigzag zigzag pop-out card that everybody is doing. My way is just a little easier because I just don't do all the scoring and all that. I just, <laughs> just fold it. So now I was looking at this and I said, well, self, I got that little hole in there. I could put something in there. It reminded me of those pop-up boxes that have the hole in the middle. What did we use? Well, we put a piece of cardstock right there in the middle. Okay, self, I can do that. So taking a scrap piece that I have here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut down. Now you figure this section here is two inches. So let's go ahead and make it four inches, just to make it easy. Like I said, just to make it easy. So I'm gonna cut off four inches right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, while it's still up, let me pull it. Um, let me grab a pencil and I'm going to go ahead and mark off an inch on each side. So at one and three, just mark off an inch. And I'm going to fold those in half. Just like that. And then that's going to be my middle, middle tab. Okay. To give it just a little extra support, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold one side out and one side in. Kind of giving you that Z look again. And then I'm going to glue one side here, one in here. Okay, and then I'm going to place that right inside the box part of my card. So there's one. Line it up and glue it. There's the other side. And there is my middle piece of cardstock. So when you fold it, you can fold it. Make sure you got a nice crease. It all works. It all folds good. And there I have not only a pop-out card, but I have a pop-up card because I can do any embellishment on this piece of cardstock. But I now have a middle piece of cardstock trim there that I can go ahead and embellish too. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial on how to do this card fold. Let me show you what else I like to do. As you can see here, I have just a plain piece of yellow cardstock, nothing fancy. But what I do initially, just to kind of, so I knew where I was going with this one video, is I went ahead and I um, went ahead and I wrote the measurements. So five and a half by eight and a half, add an extra inch at the bottom, make it six and a half by eight and a half. This is your one inch by eight and a half. And then in here is your four inch piece of extra cardstock. So I actually do this for a lot of my cards and I have a little box. So what I wanna do a special card, I just pull it out and I have an example that I can put right on my desk while I'm making my card and make sure that I'm following the directions 
correctly. So that's just a little tip to do to give you a, like a little cheat when you're doing your card fold, especially if you have a card fold that has a lot of stuff on it. So, okay, so that is it for me. I hope this um, inspired you a little to get out and make some Z fold pop out pop up cards. <laughs> so until next time, bye-bye.